Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day today. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Saturday as much as I am. Today it is very sunny here in the Northwest and I couldn't be happier. In the Northwest, when you have a truck, you love the weather when it's nice because that means less washing your truck, which means your truck stays cleaner for longer, which we all love. Because if you have a big truck and you can't ride a truck as much as I do, you know it takes you at least an hour to an hour and a half to wash a truck each time. And I do it about two times a week. So if I can save myself three hours a week, I would love to because that means more videos for you guys. So today I am going to do a short, quick little video. Again, I know I'm sorry as I've been super busy like I've said. Today's going to be an oil change because I am over 3,000 miles. What would a vlog be without turbo in it? Hi, pup. Whoa. He is just insane in the morning. This, this, this guy has so much energy in the morning, it's not even funny. All right, guys, we're going to clean up the shop a little so we have more room for activities because as of right now, I don't have enough room to pull the truck in here. Then after that, I'm going to run up to the auto parts store just up the street. It's called Tony's Auto Parts, I believe. I've never been there before. It's been my first time, but they're the only ones in my area that, that carry the product that I want to put in the truck. AutoZone doesn't carry it. I think it's, I don't know if they don't have a contract with them or what, but it's a more of an expensive uh, product that I want to put on the truck today, like always, of course. Um, because I believe in you get what you pay for. I guess you could say it's kind of this light bar over here. If I was to buy this light bar off Amazon, you could probably buy one for forty to sixty dollars. I've seen them, maybe even hundred bucks. Okay. And then if you bought a rigid light bar, it'd probably be I don't know a thousand to twelve hundred bucks. And it's really a case of you get what you pay for because this light bar, if it was a cheap one over a couple of months or so, you'd see condensation in the lenses and I don't know wiring problems or whatever. But with the rigid one, it would last a lot longer. You'd probably have a really good warranty. It'd probably be a lot brighter. So I'm a firm believer of you get what you pay for. So with that being said, I'm gonna get this cleaned up real quick and I'll see you guys at the auto parts store. All right, we just arrived at the auto parts store, Tony's Auto Parts, like I said. I'm gonna run it real quick and I'll see you guys back at the house. back at the house I'm gonna get prepped to do an oil change and then I'll go over everything I got and why I got what I got first you gotta pop the hood bang still looks good I definitely need to scrub and wash everything under here. But again, time, I need more, more of it. Goddamn air compressor. Thing always comes on, there's a leak in it. This is the downfall about having big mud terrain tires and driving every day on them. Everything possible gets stuck in them. Always have rocks in them like you can see right there. And eventually they fly out the side of your truck and scratch it on it. All right guys, so I got everything out that I need for the oil change. So I'm gonna go over that real quick with you guys before I show you the oil that I went with. So we got the oil filter that goes into the valve cover. I don't ever mix that one with the dirty oil, which I put the dirty oil, let it drain into this kitty litter box. Then I pour that in another jug for a cycle later using this funnel, never the same funnel. Paper towels, of course, because it's always gonna be a mess. I also got rags. You got oil filter removers. These things are junk and they won't work on your truck. You don't even try. And you got a 3 8 wrench. One thing I always have to check whenever I do an oil change is the lights. Make sure the headlights work, the blinkers, the brake light, third brake light, license plate lights, because nothing more annoying than getting pulled over for something stupid is a headlight. So let's get those checked. Right now I have HIDs in, so it takes a minute to warm up. Yeah, there's, there's some uh, condensation in this lens because there's water on there, as you can see. They're not even a year old. So, like I said, there's something that works for the headlights, so I'm not really too worried about that. So let's check the blankers. Let's 
And I'm running a switchback in the blinkers. That's why I changed from the headlight to a blinker to switchback. I'll put a link down below. I got them off Amazon. I'm just trying them out. They weren't too expensive, so I wanted to try out the switchback. And if I turn my brights on, the headlights go off because, like I said, they're HIDs. And for some reason, on this year and make and model of a truck, when you turn the the brights on, the HIDs go off. I don't know why that reason is, but that's the reason why that. Yeah, my, my tie rod boot is pretty messed up. As you guys can see, my tie rod boot, well, actually you can't see on the side, but it's it's ripped on the back side. But I'm gonna end up replacing this whole steering link. Side should be good, so I just have the whole wheel hub assembly completely redone and a whole new one put in. So this side should be good, but I wanna check it just in case to make sure. Yeah, everything's tight. Everything looks good. You know, I've got to say, this has always been my favorite part of an oil change, is seeing what color that oil comes out. Hey, it's actually not that bad, it looks like. This is always one of the messiest parts. <laughs> All right, so while the oil finish is dripping out, I'm gonna take off my uh, air filter here because funny story, first time I ever got this truck, the guy seemed seemed like he like he took care of the truck pretty well. He was an older guy. When I took out the truck, it was all bone stock, and uh, so I did an oil change on it when I first got it because he said that he did an oil change in a while back, but he wasn't for sure. So the first thing I did was an oil change, and uh, when I Went to take off the, the oil filter here, right down here. You can't get one of those tools on it. Well, no, there's no way because of the, all the lines right here from the top or the bottom. But I couldn't get it off. For, I couldn't get pliers around there, even no matter how big they were. So I actually had to punch a hole in the oil filter with a screwdriver and turn it that way. Multiple holes around the whole thing. It was a mess. So these things are never fun taking off, so I only usually put them on hand tight. Um, but one thing I did notice, I'm looking at this k and filter I, I got, it's got one of those uh, hex heads on the end. And I can't even tell you how excited I am for this. If this works correctly, and this comes off nice, then I'm only gonna go with k and or with the hex head on the bottom from now on, because that's, that's awesome. I'm always having to get new gloves. Either they rip or you get oil on them. Wow, I'm surprised I broke that loose. Not gonna lie. Sweet. That came off easier than expected. Trust me, the first time was not fun. mess either. I'm impressed.
So I've had this truck for about a year now and I've done numerous oil changes on it. And every single time I went with a Shell Rotella turbo diesel oil. I can't remember what the ratio was or whatever, but I never had a problem with it. It's because it's always the best of the AutoZone sold. And I saw something on the forum and also a couple YouTube videos that I watched that about an oil that lasts way longer than everything else. It's not the purple one. I can't remember the purple crown or whatever it's called. It's not that, but this oil is way better than that. And I did a lot of research on it. I actually called the company. They had great customer service and they're a really good company to work with. So I'd highly recommend them. And the company is, of course, AMS Oil. And I went with the Signature Series Diesel Oil Max Duty Protection, six times more wear protection. It's the SAE 15W-40. 100% synthetic, of course, I only put synthetic oil on my truck before the Rotella was synthetic as well. This stuff was a little more expensive. It was about twice as much for this compared to the Rotella because I needed about, I think it's 11 quarts. I think it's 10 in the engine and one in the uh, filter. And for the filter, I went with a, with a K and n It was the best one that they sold. That was at Tony, Tony's Auto Parts up the street. Highly recommend them. They sell Amsoil, which is hard to find around here, which I'm surprised about. Wish there was more dealers, but there's not. But I'll definitely be getting my oil from Tony's from now on. I'm really excited to run this oil because I've heard a lot of good stuff, like I said about it. And I think they said it last, what was the mileage on it? 25,000 miles. Could you believe that? I changed my oil about 3,000 miles. I mean, that is just insane. That, that, I mean, that, that's crazy numbers right there. Now you're gonna take our oil filter, open it all up. It's something I don't know if a lot of people remember right now. That you, well, it's very important that you fill your uh, oil filter up with oil before you put it in the truck. Another one of my favorite parts is always uh, seeing how nice and clean this oil is. Not my favorite part is trying to get this thing to stand up. Here. Just leave it in the box. Oh yeah, she's golden. Love synthetic oil, it looks nice. Another important thing to remember is take some oil and wipe it around the ring of the oil filter. Yeah, gotta add a little more. You want to make sure that when you put this bolt back into it, you don't tighten it down Superman strength because next time you want to take it out, you don't want to strip that bolt out. That is one bolt you really don't want to strip out. The only reason it's leaking is because the oil is still coming out a little bit. Perfect. That is disgusting. That's about three months old. You guys saw how gold the, the new stuff was. I mean, that is crazy. Look how black that stuff is. Yikes. Always a nice, clean, fresh oil funnel for the new oil going in the trucks. So I don't ever want to cross contaminate or get anything else in the fresh oil. Put the cap back on the valve cover, pull, shut the hood, pull the truck out, and let it run for a couple minutes and then check the oil again. We almost forgot to put the air filter back in. The truck currently has 287,000 miles on it. I'm gonna go 5,000 miles and then I'm gonna make another video and we're gonna check the levels and the color of the oil if everything looks good and checks out, I'm gonna go another 5,000 miles and repeat the process until we hit 25,000 miles. I'm really excited to try AMSOIL. We're gonna put it to the test and see if it's as good as everyone says it is. 
So with that being said, it's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I know it was a short one, but I really needed to change my oil and I really wanna try this product out, so it's a perfect opportunity to do that. If you guys enjoyed today's upload, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribing already, then please hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more truck content to come and a lot more exciting videos than just today's upload. So I will see you guys next time.